Today's section will talk about Azure Virtual Machine. We will cover three contents, three topics under this section. First one is we'll try to understand what is a virtual machine and then we will relate it with, with Microsoft Azure Virtual Machine. And the last one would be Azure Resource Manager. You normally know it's normally known as ARM as well. So to start with, what is a virtual machine? Now, this is very important to understand what is a virtual machine before we go more deep into Microsoft Azure. So a computer within a computer. So it's like a virtual environment, like a file, like an image, which behaves like an actual computer. It's, it's nothing but just a program within a computer that provides the same experience of using a computer as on the physical computer. And depending on the configuration level, n number of virtual machines can run simultaneously on the same computer. So this is how uh, a virtual machine works on. So if n number of virtual machines are running, you mean that n number of applications can run on various different virtual machines, but all on same computer, all on same server. So now let's relate it with Azure Virtual Machines. So what is a Azure, Azure Virtual Machine? It is a on-demand scalable computing resource. Okay. So as I said, uh, virtual machines like there are many service providers or many companies which offer virtual machines. The most prominent one being Oracle and VMware. So similarly, Microsoft also uh, in this Azure platform offers Azure Virtual Machine. It is an on-demand scalable computing resource. Uh, it provides multiple services like you can you can perform the development work, you can do the testing of application, you can run any application and you can host any application on that particular VM. The best part is that the charge, you can run your application. For example, if it's a development environment, you can shut the application down out of office hours and you will not be charged for that. So cost wise, very much effective. And that is the benefit of Azure Virtual Machine. So once we uh, go through the portal, uh, in the next session, we will see how it works. We will try to build the Azure Virtual Machine and, and try to see how it works. Okay. Now, very important factor next is, <coughs> sorry. So, very important uh, topic next is ARM. That's Azure Resource Manager. So, Azure Resource Manager is nothing so let let me just just in, in nothing but you know uh, you can say it is, is like a grouping of resources for example you have five servers which you want to do for test environment then and you have a virtual network which is again used to used for the testing environment so similarly like if you have n number of resources used for testing environment you can club all of them together, put them on one folder like structure, which is known as resource manager here and name it as testing so that it will be more simplified for you to understand that. OK, if uh, this is the test test resource manager means that all the resources in, in this uh, ARM is is nothing but is being used for the testing purpose. So. In short, you can consider it as a, a folder like structure and within a folder, you can specify the names and put your resources in that folder just in order to understand. So it, it provides a management layer, you know, that it, it, it's like you can create, you can update, you can delete the resources based on the need, based on the requirement, based on your subscription. Okay. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about the, the, the fall domain and the availability set. What is it? And, and 
how these features have been added now uh, and what benefit it brings up in the upcoming session in the next session okay so uh, it it brings up a great advantage and we'll see how it works on thank you